Today, I'm going to do some quick damage tests with a level 60 Yao Yao with C2 Nilu. Here is her build. She has 829 elemental mastery with 4 piece deep wood. So how much damage can a level 60 Yao Yao do with Nilu's bountiful course? Let's find out. These four are just staring out in the distance because they have nothing better to do. Also... We're just gonna place Kaya by himself. Nilu's Bloom Cores only care about three things. Her max HP, the character's elemental mastery, and the character's level. Since Yao Yao is only level 60, she won't be doing that much damage, but I just want to also see her Dendro application. Okay, first, I'm going to test this out against a gold ley line. Ten thousand bloom core for level sixty. That's not bad. By the way, since Yao Yao is polearm, she can use Dragon's Vein and Nilu Bloom teams, which gives her a lot of elemental mastery. This makes Nilu's bountiful cores do a lot more damage when Yao Yao is the one who's triggering the reaction. Ley lines are really easy, so I'm going to try this against a monster that's really dendro resistant. So we're going to head over to the giant chicken. Eight thousand damage against the giant chicken. So it looks like Yao Yao is decent in Nilu Bloom teams, but I feel like there's other Dendro applicators that are a little bit better. Still usable though. And especially since her elemental burst provides Dendro resistance, it's really helpful in the Nilu Bloom team because, as we all know, Nilu Bountiful cores really damage your team a lot, and sometimes can even outdamage Kokomi healing. So running Yao Yao in a Nilu Bloom team is actually not a bad option, but I still feel like that if you're able to maintain healing, then you should probably run other Dendro characters that have better Dendro application than Yao Yao. Wow, that was a really long sentence. Okay, next, I'm going to try this out against the Perpetual Mechanical Array. About 12,000. So when Yao Yao triggers the bloom, it's around 10 to 12,000. Honestly, for being level 60, that's pretty good. Albeit, my Nilu is C2 and does have her signature weapon, but that's beside the point. Okay, so Genshin decided to crash, which doesn't happen very often. Let's try this again. I guess people don't like Geo because it takes the longest to load. Alright, hopefully the game doesn't troll me and crash again. For comparison, a level 90 Kale is doing around 28,000 per Bloom Core. To be honest, I think Dendro Traveler is easier to use with Nilu. I still think Yao Yao is usable in Nilu Bloom teams, but you're probably better off using Dendro Traveler. Not that Yao Yao is bad with Nilu, but I think there are better options for Dendro application. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know. When Yao Yao is level 90, I'll do another test. Thanks for watching.